Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new here, if it's your first time seeing this face, please subscribe, join us, you're welcome. My name is Donnell, I'm currently a student who is studying in China and I share about life experience in China and life experience the whole since childhood. I'll be sharing some videos in the future. Yeah, I share about vlogs, I share about sometimes cooking. I mostly post cooking on shorts, shorts videos. Yeah, so you're welcome. Welcome! <laughs> okay, today's video I'm going to be sharing about some strategies, some ways you can build your personal resilience for future greatness. We know resilience is important because life mm, isn't straight, it's not uncertain. So resilience is important. Everyone needs to have it. Yeah, so one, one of my strategies is... So one of the strategies that I want to share with you is identify your inner critics. Inner critic, we all have those inner critics. Don't deny. <laughs> Do not deny. We all have them at a certain time and at a certain point. We all have those inner critics that come speak to our mind. Oh, I'm not intelligent enough. I'm just not enough. I'm not attractive. I should have done this. I should have done this. I should have said this. Uh, I should have done this. Uh, maybe... Because I'm black, uh, because I'm short, because I'm slim, or maybe because I'm tall. Such negative voices. And so when you identify them, you have to speak positive back to them. When, you, when your inner critic says, oh, I'm not enough, so you are enough. You can do better than that. You can do even more better than that. You can, you're just enough. So always speak positive back to them. So when you identify them, it's easier to speak positive towards them. That will boost your self-esteem because when you listen to them, they lower your self-esteem, okay? But when you speak positive back to them, they increase or boost your self-esteem. So that is one that I wanted to share. And the second one is always be your own cheerleader. You lose, you celebrate. You win, you celebrate, okay? <laughs> yeah, always be your own cheerleader in whatever circumstance. Always speak positive to yourself in whatever circumstance. For example, in the society that we are in, you won't stop people from talking. You won't stop people from judging you. You won't stop people from saying any word upon you or against you. So you have to always be your own cheerleader. You have to always speak positive to yourself. Yeah, and that will increase your self-esteem, of course. Yeah, be your own cheerleader. Whether you lose, whether you win, be your own cheerleader. Yeah, and the third one, the third one, guess what it is? <laughs> yeah, the third one is big, um, practice gratitude. Practice it. It can be practiced. A lot of times you're not grateful. I think this also annoys God. <laughs> yeah, a lot of times you're not grateful. Always make sure that you are grateful. We have so many things to be grateful about. Even when we don't see our dreams, we don't see our visions coming true we have to always be grateful be grateful that you've left your room and come back safely you have you have slept well you have slept and woken up be grateful be grateful be grateful learn how to be grateful and the easiest way you can practice being grateful you can either decide maybe every morning or every time i go to sleep I'll always be grateful. Like in the night, you'll be grateful. I'm grateful that you took me to work and brought me back safely. You took me to school and brought me back safely. When you wake up, I'm grateful, Lord, that I've woken up, I've seen another day. 
So be grateful. Those small things matter a lot. And they boost your self-esteem. They brighten up your day. They, I don't know, but they really make wonders. Get it? Just practice them, you'll see. You'll tell me, okay? Practice them, you'll tell me. So another way you can build up your resilience is by being prayerful. Pray. Even the Bible says pray without ceasing. Pray. Yeah, prayer. Like read the Bible, read scriptures, read the word of God, read whatever you believe in, read what that belief says about you. So read, you reading, knowing the Bible and knowing how to pray, having a strong faith, it helps you so much in so many circumstances in life. So learn how to pray, learn how to pray, learn how to pray, yeah, learn how to pray. Let me know in the comment section do you pray, learn how to pray by yourself, teach yourself how to pray, teach yourself how to read the scriptures yeah praying is the greatest weapon thank you for watching i appreciate